Minasan, Okarina Sai. Today, well, today we have the Seiyu with what I would call the best filmography. The amount of roles this woman has and the amount of awesome characters that she has lent her voice to is just incredible. Ayane Sakura, born January 29th, 1994, and was born in Iboso in the Shubi Award of the Tokyo Prefecture currently affiliated with Aoni Production. She had a desire in becoming an actress from an early age and actually enrolled in an acting school during junior high, where she studied Japanese dancing, sword fighting, voice training, and acting. However, she eventually decided that acting was no longer a suitable career for her and then went on to pursue her desire to become a voice actress instead. She was also advised by one of the teachers at the acting school that she should try it out and pursue the career if she was interested in it. Another reason she cites for wanting to become a seiyu is that she used to skip school a lot and one day she was listening to seiyu on a radio talk show and she thought to herself she wanted to do that. She became affiliated with I'm Enterprise on April 1st, 2009 and had her debut one year later having a minor role in the children's show Kerero Gunsu. Now seeing as how we are the same age and this movie came out in 2010, that would have made her about 15 years old when this was released, maybe even 14 when she did the recording, since this was released so close to her birthday. Aside from this, she also had minor roles in Okami-san and her seven companions, as well as Oraimo. 2011, she had some minor roles in Anohana, Bento, Madoka Magica, and Sket Dance. As far as named roles, she was the young version of Yozora Mikazuki in Haganai, and a character named Ayane in Sacred Seven. Something I had to mention because I love it when the character and the seiyu share the same name. But she also had her first main cast role as Mary Nightmare in the anime Dream Eater Mary, and a second lead role as Hotaru Takagawa in the movie Into the Forest of Fireflies. Moving on to 2012, she got more named characters but in minor roles, starting with Anzu Kiriyama in Kokoro Connect, Remy Ruth in Gundam AGE, Giselle Adjani in Move Louvre Total Eclipse, and Mika Shimatsuki in Psychopaths. She also had like three unnamed roles and five other named roles that I didn't mention. Keep in mind she is only about 16 or 17 at this point. Now onto 2013, some characters with a little more relevance, like Gasper in High School DD, Suzuka Dairenji in Tokyo Ravens, and boy am I a sucker for this hairstyle. And even another lead role in Vivid Red Operation, voicing Akane Ishiki. But she was also Chloe Chronicle in Infinite Stratos, a young Nase Hirumi in Beyond the Boundary, and even Arisa Ayase, the younger sister of Ellie, in Love Lives Glider Project. 2014, we've got Kokowo Hoto in Is This the Order of the Rabbit, Mozuku Konato in Knights of Sidonia, Shadows to Photon Maiden and their amazing cover of this show's banger of an opening. I feel like I'm covering so many shows from each year, but honestly only mentioning half of her roles. She's just been in so many series. Still in 2014, she was also Ava Frost in Terraformers, Levi Kazuma in Trinity 7, Yuzuki Kurebayashi in the We Cross series, and Tsubaki Sawabe in Your Lie in April. Shoutouts to Nadeshiko Kashima in Engage to the Unidentified. I love this show, and I know you've seen the younger sister dancing in front of the TV. Okay, 2015. Let's start off with Akari Mamiya in Aria the Scarlet Ammo. Now Tomori in Charlotte, something I definitely recommend you watch. Iroha Ishiki in Snafu, as well as Haru Onodera in Nisekoi. The best girl, by the way. Epsilon in Overlord, also best girl. Mary in the 18th Pokemon movie, Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. Also Moa in Show by Rock, and Sachiko Tanaka in Ultimate Otaku Teacher. Alright, we are into 2016. She voiced Sayuri Tachibana in Days, which is actually a pretty decent soccer anime. Ryoka Narusawa in Occult 9, Relax. Ryo Ueda in Orange, and we've got a big one here. That being Ochako Uraraka in My Hero Academia also actually voicing Reiko Yanagi from Class 1B. On to 2017, she voiced Bort in The Land of the Lustrious, a character named Titi in a Doraemon birthday special, Niwatori in Juni Tyson, a good show if you're into Battle Royale, Ryoko Kaji in Sure Dere Children, a, another good show if you're looking for short story romance, and Shizuku Hanaoka in Welcome to the Ballroom. Alright, 2018. She actually began her role as Ron Matake in animation form with the girls band party Pico short series. But we've also got Hasuki Komai in Boarding School Juliet, Nine Delta in Darling in the Franks, Lisa Latte in Radiant, and Saiko Yonabayashi in Tokyo Ghoul Re. This year she won the Best Supporting Actress Award at the 12th Seiyu Awards for her role of Uraraka in a third season of My Hero Academia. And finally for 2018, she released a photo book, Sakura no Oto. I'm pretty sure this is the only one she has released. We definitely need another one. We are now on to 2019. In Assassin's Pride, she voiced Nerva Martillo. In Carolyn Tuesday, she was Sybil, and this is an amazing show, but she was also Yotsuba Nakano in the Quintessential Quintuplets. Second best girl, but Team Miku all the way. 
and Ina Artebit in Promare. She also voiced another character named Ayane, this time in the amazing movie Withering With You. Finally for this year, she voiced the non-chibi version of Ron in the Bang Dream second season. Also, I forgot to mention last time that Ron is the lead singer of Afterglow. Unfortunately though, this band does not perform live. But I definitely recommend their song Heide Capriccio. We are nearing the end now, onto 2020. She voiced Secre Swallowtail in Black Clover. And well, you may be tired of me saying best girl, but well, you know. She was also Ami Kakai in Kagushigoto. Yuzuriha in Lapis Relights, Felicia Mitsuki in Magia Record, Park Sangha in The God of High School, and I was gonna skip this next one but I couldn't resist the name. She voiced Hina Sato in The Day I Became a God. But finally for this year, the actual best girl, she voiced Gabby Braun in Attack on Titan. I'm dead serious by the way, she is totally the best girl, don't even try to come at me. So now we've got 2021, which was basically all second seasons of prior shows that I just mentioned. She did have a few new roles, but only two that I feel like I should mention. Those being Prinz Yujin in the Azure Lane spinoff, Luis in Shadow House, and Saki Saki in Girlfriend Girlfriend. Now on January 31st, 2022, it was announced that Sakura is leaving I Am Enterprise. The day after, it was announced that she had joined Aoni Enterprise as her new agency. This year, she has had many, many roles as always, but I'll point out Mary Lafan in a light novel isekai adaptation called Trapped in a Dating Sim. The full name of that show is actually way longer, but yeah, no. That title was already good enough. Anyway, she was also Chieru in the second season of Princess Connect, Amarate in a show called She Professed Herself Pupil to the Wise Man, and Jerry Hattori in Heroines Run the Show. Great cast in this one. All of Tricell is in it. Aside from these, she has had like five new seasons of previous shows, but as for currently airing shows, Neural in the Ark Knights anime version, Sakine in Four People Lie in Their Own Way, Rei Yasaku in Do It Yourself, and Emirate in Legend of Mana The Teardrop Crystal. Next year, she will be Sara in Spy Classroom, and Otanashi-san in The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague. I'm really running out of witty remarks about how stupid these anime titles be getting. But you can also probably expect her in new seasons of Attack on Titan, Cycle Pass, and Girlfriend Girlfriend next year. Though they don't have any confirmed dates yet. Time for some video games. The Usual Suspects, Fake Grand Order, Grand Blue Fantasy, Magia Record, and Tregalia Lost. Man, there's like so many, I don't even know what to point out. Okay, so we've got Eleonora Yumizuru in Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Minerva, Julia, and Eleonora again in Fire Emblem Heroes. Mikumari and Praxis in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Misty in Pokemon Masters, Alice Hiragi in Persona 5 Strikers, and finally she is a Yai Miko in Genshin Impact. She's even done some live action dubbing in the School of Rock TV series from 2016, and very recently she was in the Cuphead Netflix series. You would think someone this talented and popular would also have a solo singing career, right? Well, nope. All the music she has released was part of the soundtrack of whichever anime she was currently working on, as well as her songs with Afterglow and Bang Dream. This is also the same when it comes to concerts and live appearances. Honestly, the only time I've seen her anywhere was at Annie Sama in 2016 with Show by Rock. Then like one or two Bandori performances way back in the day when Rats was still the third. Well, actually, she will be at the Bandori special live in just a few weeks on November 12th. It's about freaking time. On to the fun facts. She is 175 centimeters or 5 foot 2. On the socials, she has nothing. Nothing at all. Damn. I honestly feel people would be very weird to her like they've been to Sumire Yasaka in the past. So maybe it's good that she just doesn't bother with the socials. But there is a fan account that basically serves as her own account, so if you want to follow that, feel free. Her hobbies include listening to sports radio programs, drawing, reading, singing, and trying out clothing. During her days off, she tends to do nothing but stay at home, watch TV, and record different programs, including the anime that she has started. She is also very open about her taste in Yuri Dojinshi's. If you don't know what that is, well, feel free to Google it. Her special skills are being able to whistle through her teeth and messing with computers. She actually has certifications from Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint Access, as well as an IT passport. She has a driver's license as well. She is also very good friends with fellow Seiyu Inori Minase and Sayori Onishi, and they have all worked together in many, many series. Her favorite food is her mother's cooking, while her least favorite foods are anything that tastes bitter, spicy, or plain. But she also has a few allergies, those being milk, eggs, wheat, and shrimp. Miss Sakura is a fan of Nogizaki 46 and has collected their photo albums and the Blu-rays of all their concerts. She also admires fellow voice actresses Kana Hanazawa, Masumi Asano, and Miyuki Sawashiro. Her favorite anime are Mobile Suit Gundam 00 and Yande Masuyo Azazel-san. 
According to herself, she is a logical and reasonable person, as well as a bit of a tomboy, even going as far as referring to herself with a Boku pronoun when she was younger. As you might have noticed, she has basically always had short hair. That's because her mom used to blame her for her long hair clogging up the vacuum. That's uh, really silly, but uh, moving on, she has a weakness to people from Kansai. This is mostly because of her father's influence. Kind of like how us weebs have a weakness to Japanese women. Ayana-chan is notoriously one of the worst Garofa players, usually failing on even easy mode. This girl's gotta get her game on. These last two facts are really cool, so I saved them for the end, but Asakura originally voiced all five of the quintuplets in a special promotional commercial. And her nickname is Ayaneru, which comes from the fact of how she loves to sleep a lot. The nickname was actually given to her by Nobuhiko Okamoto, who voices Bakugo in My Hero Academia. Which I find amazing considering there are crazy people who ship their characters together. Gross. Anyway, we've reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. This lady easily has one of the biggest resumes ever, so if I missed one of your favorite roles, let me know down below. Please join me in the next one about the most talented guitarist around. I look forward to seeing you there.